We have a new video tonight showing the suspect in the mass shooting at the Buffalo Alina Clinic just moments before the attack. Care 11 investigative reporter AJ Legault walks us through the never before seen video that is sure to be a key piece of evidence in the criminal investigation. Tuesday, February 9th, 1047 AM, the Super 8 Motel in Buffalo. 67 year old Gregory Ulrich walks outside carrying a very large briefcase. He boards a public transportation bus. Hello. Hello. You on the Crossroads Alina Clinic? Yes. The driver has no way of knowing what authorities will later say is inside that briefcase, tossed casually into a bus seat. Four improvised uh, explosive devices that consisted of gunpowder encased with a fuse ignition. Ulrich, wearing a heavy brown jacket, calmly buckles his seatbelt. Okie doke. Nonchalant. Okie doke. Sure, buddy. Park Ulrich right gives no indication of what investigators say he is actually about to do. During the five minute ride on the otherwise empty bus, there's no sign of the other things charging documents claim he was packing a loaded 9mm Smith & Wesson handgun, two additional loaded magazines, and a Ziploc bag full of extra ammunition. He bought a Smith & Wesson. Ulrich's former roommate told CARE 11 the suspected shooter was given a legal permit to purchase the firearm, despite his documented history of threats of mass shootings, drug use, and mental incompetency. Why would you do that? Why would you? I, I don't understand. Last week, a CARE 11 investigation exposed what attorney and gun law expert Jim Fleming called the crack in the system that allowed the gun to be purchased legally. What you could refer to as a perfect storm. It's part of a forecasted storm the Minnesota legislature was warned about last year. This report highlighted the growing number of people found incompetent to stand trial, but who don't get treatment, what are known as gap cases where if the charges are for misdemeanors, the charges will be dismissed and many of these individuals will not receive help and may reoffend. In Ulrich's case, he pled guilty in 2019 to violating a restraining order issued after he threatened shooting and blowing things up at the Buffalo Alina Clinic. But the charges were dismissed by the city prosecutor last year when Ulrich was found mentally incompetent. Fast forward to last week, and Ulrich is on a bus, on his way, authorities say, towards doing exactly what he previously threatened. As the bus pulls into the clinic drive, he pulls up his mask, tucks his glasses in a pocket. At 10.52, a polite exchange with the driver as he gets off. And walks inside the clinic door. Uh, at least 15 shots were fired. No what he's charged with doing in the next few minutes. Looking at at least five injured critically. Left two young children without a mother, four other innocent people wounded, and a grieving community asking how and why. For CARE 11 Investigates, I'm AJ Legault.